What's going on guys? My name is Anthony. I'm going to help you guys out with the CM2000 Nighthawk. If you have a modem in general, then this can help you as well. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into it and help you guys out. So first things first, buy a Cat8 Ethernet cable. Replace that old ass Ethernet cable that you're using. This has 2000 megahertz of speed. Replace that Coax cable that you're using. Coax cables usually last for 20 years. So mine lasted like 15, but I had to replace it. For power uh, strips, get a 15 amp power strip, 10 outlet or 12 outlet. This can provide more power for your router or modem and other devices. As we, we you know, as we continue with growth in devices, you know, PS5, Xbox Series Xs, high end PC, smart TVs, the list goes on and on and on. Now, you'll have your buttons, your power, your upstream, your downstream, and your internet, and blah, 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 blah. You guys know that. Now, if any of those buttons are blinking, except for the multi gig, that is not good. Uh, if it blinks for a couple minutes, that's okay. But if it starts blinking for hours and you experience disconnections, that's not good. Here is a splitter that goes into the basement or anywhere where the you have multiple cables that are going on. That splitter is 12, 10 years old, so definitely remove old splitters. Um, yeah, you go to the basement, look for that, and if you have to remove it, then remove it especially how old it is. If you're younger, if you're like around like 15, 14, 13, you don't understand anything that I'm telling you, just uh, contact, you know, support or talk to an adult and they can maybe help you. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go to the PC. Make sure your Ethernet cable is connected from the modem or the router is connected, Ethernet cable to your PC or you have, you're connected to Wi-Fi. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna search up the uh, interface of the modem. Each modem has this. This one is 192.168.100.1. And I'm going to go ahead and enter the password here and log in. Username is admin. Usually you can create it. Now, first thing you want to check out is go to advanced and check out your hardware version and your cable firmware version. Make sure everything's up to date. If you have to, go ahead and search up on another browser what the latest firmware version is. If you're on Neck, your support chat or call, you can ask them as well and they'll check for you. Next thing you want to go to is administration. Go to advent log. And this is where basically you figure out issues on your modem. There's going to be notice, warning, and critical. Uh, you just want to see a bunch of notices. But if you see critical or warning, pay attention and jot them down. Uh, I think this is military standard time. So, yeah, you, you know, this. don't worry about the time. Just worry about what it's telling you. If it's telling you T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, or T6, you can switch it up and it can help you out. Or you can contact your ISP or NEC your chat support and they can help you out with that. Furthermore, uh, for me personally on this modem, I was getting power level issues. Uh, that were related to MDD message timeout. So this is how you troubleshoot it. And basically you have to contact your ISP and let them know. Now, we're going to go here to cable connection and we're going to load cable connection up. This is where you check out your power levels, your frequency, all of that good jazz. Now, here's a rule of thumb. This is DBMV. This is how power level is measured or this is power level in general. All right. So DS downstream should be negative 7 to positive 7. So here it is, downstream by the channels. That's DS downstream. Now upstream, US. That's gonna be right here. And we're gonna scroll down all the way right here. This is a, a mic audio, by the way. Upstream by the channels. Now, we're gonna go over the rule of thumb and the rules that you should follow. So for your downstream, it should be negative seven to positive seven dBmV. So that's what the power level should be. Any higher is bad, any lower is bad. So let's go ahead and check it out. And so far, 6.9, 6.5, 6.7, 6.8, 7.0, 6.7, 7.4, 7.2, 7 that is not good. So, yeah, 7.0, 6.9, 6.7. The rest is pretty good. All of them are good. That's good, 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 and good. All right. You can ignore the zero, by the way. Don't worry about the zero. Now, upstream should be 38 to 48 dBmV. Anything higher, anything less is bad. So... The problem that I was having with this modem is that it had 36.5. We're going to go ahead and check what this had here. So 38.8, 38.5, 38.3, 36.5. That is not good. That is why my modem has giving issues. And you should definitely get that checked out and fix. Now, the video, uh, you know, visually has ended. But this is a voiceover on, onto the video that I'm doing. So I'm just going to be explaining some things that you should know. Now, keep listening. Don't click anywhere. Just listen. So um, what happened was my my power levels were not working because, um, well, my power levels were working, but they were too high and too low in certain areas because the power line, there was an issue there. Now, for upstream, I was receiving 
sorry, for downstream, I was receiving too much power. For upstream, I was receiving too little power. Now, the problem is that uh, it's like a power line issue and stuff like that. Now, I got my power line replaced, my coax cable replaced, my splitters removed, my splitters thrown away, excess cable thrown away. You see what I mean? I got everything fixed around it. Now, the only thing left for me to do is to get a filter. Now, the ISP will provide me with a filter tomorrow. And the filter, as the guy on the phone said, his name is Maurice. Thank you, Maurice Earl. You are an OG. He basically is, uh, said that it basically ups upstream and lowers downstream, which is good. Uh, he said it up, it like, it, there's a way it works. But anyways, it's like a little filter. You can switch it up. And yeah, they, they'll get you that for you. And if you're having any MDD timeouts, T3s, anything like that, just search it up. Uh, learn and if you have if you need any help at all comment down in the description Comment down in the description. You hear what I'm saying comment down in the YouTube comments and I can help you out uh, The only reason I'm doing a voiceover is because my mic quality on the other video is trash and <laughs> So I, I'm using the mic from a PC anyways guys. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys learned something today Thank you guys. I love you guys. Peace out. My name is Anthony. You can comment down if you need any help assistance or anything I got you guys happy new year. Peace out. Enjoy your new modem